Shalom royalty, it's Ellie here. So today's verse of the day is Ephesians 4, 31 through 32. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be ye kind to one another. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for so- Okay. Even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Let me read you that one. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. And now, you know, with recent events happening, um, I know people can definitely take their scripture and be um, reminded of the Kirk Franklin and his son situation. It's sad to, um, you know, that was, like, speaking from, you know, Israelite, uh, it's just, it sucks to see our people always, you know, in drama and situations like this. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, I never contributed to something like that. There's a situation in my family where, um, you know, family members were talking about me and saying certain things. And so, uh, including my mom. So I was just like, you know what? And I just posted it on Facebook. I'm like, can y'all like, shut up. I don't want to hear any of this anymore. Like, can you stop? Like, it's irritating and you don't even know the full story of what's going on so now that everyone's saying stuff you know behind me i'm saying it in the forefront shut up because you're ignorant you don't know what you're talking about and i feel like that's kind of the attitude that kirk franklin's son had when he posted it but the thing is like i know um you know i'll just i'll just say it like this If I was, you know, a mainstream celebrity, I probably wouldn't have done that, um, to be very honest. But I knew, like, since it was on Facebook, it wasn't, like, on Instagram or YouTube or anything like that. Um, it was on my Facebook page. So it was, like, directed at my family members, directed at friends and family for them to understand, like, this isn't cool what you're doing, so stop. But... He posted it in a more public type platform, plus the fact that his dad is a mainstream celebrity and not just a mainstream celebrity, a mainstream gospel celebrity who's already had a lot of controversy. So, you know, I'm not saying to be very honest, I'm not saying he's wrong because uh, apparently there's a reason that uh, he posted it because it's like, you know, if your parents, my parents have never talked to me like that. Uh, no matter what happened, no matter what I did. And I don't think they've ever talked to my siblings like that for anything that anybody's done. So, you know, not it, people, for one thing, shouldn't idolize um, celebrities. That's for one. So if you're like heartbroken because Kurt Franklin did this, you know, hopefully it was just because you genuinely love him and not because you idolized him and thought he should be perfect. But, um, parents really shouldn't talk to their kids like that like I don't know the full story but I do know that um he I've never heard anything from Kirk Franklin's son so for him to have put this on blast I think it was more of a situation like I need help um I'm in danger you know coming from it just understanding from a younger person's perspective i understand that a lot of older people were like well he shouldn't have put that in the public well a lot of things that you know a lot of folks don't want in the public are because they're embarrassed not so much because they don't think it's good or something oh i'm getting a phone call i have to call them back um but anyway you know He shouldn't speak like that. I don't know what prompted him to speak like that. But what I do know is, um, while the Bible does say children obey your parents, right after that it says fathers do not provoke your children. And so we have to take into account the entire story. You can't take sides based off of what we see. Uh, Just, oh, he's posting this, he's terrible. Or Kirk Franklin said this, he's terrible. We have to look at the entire picture. But regardless, though, you know, I would hope that his son, um, 
went to other family members first. I would hope that they went to Kirk Franklin's like record label or something if this had anything to do with his music career. First, I would hope that they went to Kirk Franklin's pastor before he posted this on the internet. Because here's the thing, if he, they called twice, okay, I, I will get to you. I gotta deliver this message. Um. Uh, the Bible says we're supposed to go before one or two other people in the congregation before we, you know, judge people openly. So I would hope that he did that with family, church members, something before he took it to the public. That's all I have to say. But let me read this um, scripture one more time. I, I need you to stop calling me. I'm sorry. I will get to you. I, you know, I got to deliver the word here. Ephesians 4, 31 through 32. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Okay, Shalom Royalty. I'll see you in the next one. Again, that was Ephesians 4, 31 through 32. And can you leave your opinions on what you think about the Kurt Franklin situation? I know as time goes on, we're going to get more information um, about it, but from what we see so far, let me know what you think. I don't know all the details. So, you know, this is just how I feel, but Shalom.